Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Now today we've got some major information and releases from Amazon about the upcoming TV show, and what they released is something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down all of that recent news, I'll give you my opinion on what it means for the show going forward. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release more content just like this as well as Wheel of Time lore content. You can also check out my other channel that I just started here on YouTube called Nabless Reviews, where I review movies, television shows, and other stuff. We also do retrospectives on older movies. I've got a video coming out here very soon breaking down 10 things that you may not know about Dazed and Confused, one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm excited to kick off that series. I'll be doing that for a lot of older movies. So go ahead and check that channel out as well. I'll have it linked in the description below. Now let's go ahead and hit the spoiler warning for this video. Today's video is going to carry a spoiler rating of red, but with major spoilers only running through Eye of the World. If you have not read the first book in the Wheel of Time series, watch this video at your own risk. You have been warned. So we have lots of news to get to, but let's kick it off with some interesting news that dropped a few weeks back. Early in January, Wattseries.com reported from a source of theirs that some filming had taken place in Slovenia in the fall of 2019 with both Madeline Madden and Zoe Robbins, the actress is set to play Egwene and Nynaeve. Now, according to their source, there was a scene filmed in Slovenia that was some sort of initiation into the women's circle for Egwene. Now, this isn't confirmed, and the description of that scene is not really rock solid. So if you're thinking like, Egwene is never in the women's circle, ah! Well, then cool off a little bit. It's probably not totally accurate. More than likely, it's a scene establishing Egwene's ability to braid her hair, or essentially become a woman in the two rivers. Now this is something that we know happened in the books just slightly before the story started. So it would make sense if they want to give more character moments to Egwene early on and also bring in Nynaeve early on. This would be supported from some script leaks uh, from the Egwene audition scripts that were put out and some set photos. Rather than covering that completely here in this video though, I'm gonna have an article linked in the description from wattseries.com that will explain the whole thing for you if you want to check that out more. Now, before we get to the major news and all the information that came from Amazon Studios earlier this week, I want to take a moment and mention some changes lately to the way that Amazon has been marketing the show and what I think it means. Now, if you haven't really been paying attention to the social media, the Wheel of Time on Prime Twitter handle has been very active lately. You'll notice the account interacting with fans quite a bit on Twitter and overall just engaging with content creators. Now the account was always active, but usually only when they were releasing something to the public. Now the account is active every day and responds to fans. Additionally, Rafe Judkins has been more active lately and the frequency of the updates from Amazon Prime, again, like the one we're about to talk about, that's increased greatly. Now we're gonna talk about this next part a little later, but showrunner Rafe Judkins actually showed up in the chat over at the Dusty Wheel during the release of this information. So the reason I bring all this up to you is to say that it's clear that the show is moving from simply like a production phase into the beginnings of a marketing phase. And it's not a stretch to assume that someone has been hired or has been assigned the role of running the Wheel of Time on Prime Twitter handle because they've been interacting a ton lately. We're now getting updates from the production team at least once a month, sometimes more, and the quality of those releases has increased dramatically as well. They've got fully rendered and edited videos being released. All of that tells me that we are getting closer and closer to the release. I don't think it's crazy to expect a trailer in the not too distant future, and I think we're gonna start seeing more interviews with the cast, releases from the production, and potentially even television advertising. We are less than a month away from the Super Bowl here in America, which Amazon traditionally releases trailers for their new releases. Do I think that we should absolutely expect a Super Bowl trailer? No, but I think it's possible. Absolutely I do. For example, in 2020, Amazon ran a trailer for the TV series Hunters starring Al Pacino. While the show certainly has a number of big famous folks in it, the budget was not even half of what Wheel of Time is getting. In 2019, Amazon ran a trailer for Jack Ryan starring John Krasinski. That was big budget, but it's still not the budget of Wheel of Time. Given that they are about to promote the show more, I don't think it's a stretch that we might see a 2021 Super Bowl trailer for the Wheel of Time. I could be wrong, maybe I'm being optimistic, but they've done it before. So before we move on to the major news though, let me quickly mention today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is the number one provider of VPN services in the world and has been a sponsor of the channel for some time. It's a service that I literally use every day, and if you use the internet, you should be also. A VPN protects you from being tracked on the internet, targeted for misinformation campaigns, 
and it protects your privacy. Additionally, if you want to watch shows that are only available in other parts of the world, a VPN will allow you to use Netflix, for example, in another country. I could be in the United States and use my VPN to log in to the European version of Netflix and watch shows that are only available there. Now, because you're one of my viewers, NordVPN is going to give you a big discount on their already extremely cheap prices. All you have to do is click the link in the description of the video, take advantage of the discount. It's a no-brainer and you really should have a VPN. No one should be without one. So let's get back to the video. So this past Friday, Amazon Studios released a short clip showing off some of the concept art from the first season of the show, along with some commentary on Twitter explaining the art. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip here without sound to avoid copyright strikes, but I'll have the full video linked in the description of the video. Afterwards, we'll break it down and go through each description from Amazon, and I'll give you my opinions on each. So let's go ahead and roll the clip. So my first reaction to the clip is that what we are seeing here is really just a smaller clip or clips from a larger featurette about the show. Now the caption next to Rafe while he's talking at the beginning of the clip seems to indicate this and we already know that they have been doing quite a bit of behind the scenes content. Rafe has mentioned it a couple times now and I think what we saw here is not just a clip Rafe recorded for this release but rather something that was recorded for the behind the scenes content that will be released later. Now it's fairly common for shows now to have small featurettes at the end of each episode that sort of describe the themes of that episode as well as how the show was filmed. HBO is known for doing this with most of their shows. Game of Thrones did it. And even smaller scope shows like Luca Guadagnino's We Are Who We Are series that aired on HBO did the same thing. Now you may be putting two and two together here to hear me say this, and I know this is kind of a stretch at this point for me to make this jump, but this short clip makes me think that we are going to get a weekly release schedule. The short clips are usually done at the end of an episode, which means that it's typically not a binge format. Again, I could be looking way too far into this, but that was my first reaction in seeing the clip from Amazon that this is a featurette that we might see at the end of an episode. Now let's take a look at what Rafe says here. He mentions the themes and concepts from the book, something that he talked about before. He specifically mentions balance and gender, obviously two very important themes from the Wheel of Time, and frankly, Two themes that are really important to us now with the current news cycle and the world as it is. He also mentions something very briefly that has me happy. Rafe says that the story follows the character's emotional journey. Now, on my movie review channel, one of the main criteria that I use when evaluating the strength of a movie or a television show is how developed the characters are and whether we can connect with them emotionally and their story. Obviously, it's I'm very happy to hear that Rafe is putting a focus on establishing an emotional journey in the show. In my opinion, the show will live or die based on how well developed and how well written the characters are. The plot was already good, I'm not really worried there, but the real thing that we have yet to see is how well written the show will be and how well developed the characters will be. Now, to be clear, just because Rafe said they are focused on that emotional journey doesn't mean that they're actually going to succeed in showing us that. It remains to be seen how well the dialogue is going to be written, how well the actors can show us what the characters are thinking with their facial expressions, and how the plot will be adapted to show us the depth of these characters. I'll reserve my judgment until I see that, but I can't help but feel excited that they have mentioned this this early, that that's one of their main focuses. So let's talk about the images that are played during the video. The Wheel of Time on Prime Twitter handle gave descriptions of these images and I wanna go through them one by one. The first image is of two men overlooking a valley or a quarry. Now, according to the description from Amazon, there appears to be a small encampment and bridge near the river below. Now, at first glance, I'm not really sure what this scene is supposed to represent from the books. I've seen some say that this is White Bridge, and I certainly the hell hope not. <laughs> if that's the White Bridge, I am severely disappointed already. I don't think that that's the case. I think that this is obviously Rand and Matt based on the character models and the weapons they're holding. And this simply could be one of the villages that they visited once they're separated. Interestingly enough, the concept picture seems to represent an area that we already know there was filming at. As you can see in these pictures from Geeky Eerie, there is a village at this site from the filming. We just don't know where it is. So this place will probably be in the show, but 
It remains to be seen as to what it is. The next piece of concept art is described by Amazon as a festival with numerous lights adorning the town and women dancing in a circle as the men look on. Now this is fairly obviously Emmons Field based on the picture that we've already seen released and that really looks like the Wine Spring Inn in the background. So my guess is this is the Winter Night Festival. Now in the books, we don't get to see anything of Winter Night, but we've already heard from Rafe that we would be seeing Winter Night in the show. So it makes sense that they're going to show all of the events. So the little party that leads up to the Trollocs coming in and wrecking it. I'm super excited to see how that actually plays out in the show, because it's not something we get to see in the books, yet we know happens. So Based on this concept art, it looks great. I would like to see some different costumes, but I think that we've, they've already made some changes on that. Keep in mind, this is very early concept art. Now, the next graphic from the video shows a group of wagons surrounding a campsite where people have built a fire. This is very clearly meant to be the conception of the Tinker's Camp that Egwene and Perrin run into. There are leaked photos of this, which I'm not going to share, but they actually show the wagons in their full color, and those versions in real life are much more colorful than what you see in this picture. So obviously, again, early concept art, they can make changes as they go. My other reaction to this, though, is that it goes against my headcanon a little bit. I always kind of assumed that there were like 20 to 30 wagons in the Tinker Caravan. Obviously, there's only a couple here. I'm curious if any of you had that as your headcanon. It's not a deal breaker for me either way. I just not my headcanon. The next graphic shows concept art of a group of riders on horseback crossing a bridge over a stream. Now this shot appears to be the main group from Emmons Field on their horses. Now where this is supposed to be is sort of a mystery. The odd thing is that the tower that you can see in the background right there in the trees, it doesn't really seem to jive with anything that we know from the books. It could be the Tower of Genji, but I doubt that. It could be a town or a city, but again, what town or a city has a tower in it like that? Another thought is that this is Shadar Logoth, which I think is a possibility, but they're kind of leisurely strolling towards it on their horses, which is not how that goes down in the books. The last thought that I have is that that could be maybe Tarvalin, and that might be the White Tower sticking up. Although it clearly isn't in the books like that, I, it's a thought maybe that one of the changes is they're going to head to Tarvalin instead of Camelin. I don't think that's the case. I don't think we've seen anything that leads to be that direction. And again, when, when are they going to leisurely all as a group be riding into Tarvalin in, from the books? I, I just don't see it. If I had to bet, I would say that that this is Shadar Logoth that they're riding to or some city that they're riding towards. But again, I'm curious what you all think. Keep in mind again, it's very early concept art. The last piece of concept art is a hooded rider on horseback in a deserted city covered by a pale white fog. Now this is pretty clearly Shadar Logoth and it certainly looks really cool with the fog. Not a place I would like to be hanging out, but the buildings seem a little bit too much not ruiny to me. I, I guess I would hope that Shadar Logoth would be a lot more ruins just based on the way it's described in the book, but the atmosphere from this picture with the fog and the lighting, I think that's dead on. I absolutely love the mist. I think it looks creepy. Now, after all these were released, our friends at the Dusty Wheel did a live show talking about the concept art release. Now, towards the end of their show, none other than the Wheel of Time showrunner Rafe Judkins hopped into the chat. He mentioned that all of the art was very early concept art from the process, but there are a couple of the pieces that ended up being very close to the final product. Now, it's worth mentioning to all of you again, and I've said this a couple times now, that concept art is early, and that does not mean that's what this will look like. It means that they have artists trying to brainstorm to see what they could look like based on the sets. So it gives them ideas. Now, this is something they certainly start with for set design, but that does not mean that that's what we're going to get as a final product. So if you really hate these, again, that does not mean that that's what this stuff is going to look like. Now, he mentioned in the chat that they had hired 15 concept artists at the very beginning just to create Moraine using the one power, some art based around that to get an idea of what that might look like. He said that was a process that they followed for a number of the different scenes from the books. Now that kind of gets me excited because there's probably tons of concept art. I can't wait for them to take all of my money when they release a book of concept art for the show. I will be buying that for certain. Rafe mentioned that two of the concept art pieces were pretty close to what the final product was. Daniel Green guessed that they were Winter Knight and Shadar Logoth. And Rafe actually answered and said that he got one of those right, which I think is pretty cool. So based on what we already know so far in the show, I'm going to venture to guess to say that they got Winter Night really close to that because we've already seen actual like the physical set. So I would assume that one's very close. Now, as to the other one, knowing that it's not Shadar Logoth, I would probably guess that it's Rand and Matt standing over the quarry being the other one that ended up being close just because we already know that they filmed at that location. But anyways, guys, I'm curious what you all think of this release. 
What do you think of the concept art pieces? And what does it mean for your excitement for the show? Are you more excited? Are you less excited? Let me know in the comments of the video. Also, if you like the content here, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. We're in the midst of preparing for the show's release, and all of the Patreon money goes back into supporting and growing the greatblight.com and the channel. Really, the idea here is to build a central hub for the fan base. We'd like to have a couple people hired to help run things when the show comes out, and the best way that you all can help with that is to support the channel on Patreon. Thank you to all of you who already support the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Again, make sure to check out the link in the description of the video to check out NordVPN, and also like this video, subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time content. That is all I do on this channel, and I'll be releasing more news videos, as well as more lore-related videos as the Wheel of Time series gets closer and closer. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do My mistress up above, slipping on a rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?